Then <clears throat> I'm opening up another sheet. I got this idea for a sextet, six plays that I'm call, ca calling the Odyssey and Oracle plays. There's a I was I was having this idea of doing uh, some plays, and I was listening last weekend to some online music about the zombies, the 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 pop group from England in the 1960s, and their second album was called Odyssey and Oracle. It was a misspelling of the word Odyssey, O D E C, rather than O D Y. Uh, but there are so many good little pop songs there that have poignant lyrics that I said, well, let me let me do uh, plays based on this. And so I sort of had some ideas before. And so the, I'm going to, for example, one of the songs in that second uh, album, uh, Odyssey and Oracle, is called uh, uh, Hung Up on a Dream. And so that's the title of, of the play. It's going to be called Hung Up on a Dream. And this is about a dancer that I knew 20-some years ago who had, who had a lot of problems and whatnot. Then I'm going to do a, a, one called A Rose for Emily, which is a song that the zombies based on the William Faulkner short story of the same. Uh, and this is going to be uh, basically a comedy because there was this woman I knew back at this fine-ass supermarket 30 years ago who was a horror heritage. She was 25 years older than this guy who worked on the night crew there. And she was nasty to everyone but except me. Uh, bizarrely, she liked me. Um, but... Uh, so this is going to be about her life, and then when she dies, how no one went to her funeral, not even her husband. So it's going to be called A Rose for Emily. The third one, and this is not in particular order, but the, the third play here, there's a, a, a song called Beechwood Park. And I thought to myself, that sounds like a good name for a sanitarium. And so if you remember in True Life, I have the story about the girl uh, that in my neighborhood, threw a rock at the skinny woman and hit her in the head. I don't know. Have you read True Life, all of them? Yes. Do you remember? Do you remember? There's the young girl who throws a rock and the woman gets hit in the head and she claps. And then this young girl was so distressed by it that years later she became an anorexic. So I said, well, let me extend that even further. Let's say that she's still alive, but now she's in a sanitarium. And I'm going to be doing a play about that called Beechwood Parker's uh, because that's, that's a good name for a sanitarium. Then there's a song uh, from there called uh, uh, Maybe After He's Gone. And so there, this is from another incident I wrote in True Life. These two sisters, one of them, when I was 13, I had sex with this girl in the, the uh, balcony of a theater during, uh, it was either uh, the Star Wars one-year anniversary or, or it was Pretty Baby. Uh, I don't remember which one. The, it was the porno film with uh, Brooke Shields. Uh, but anyway, I said, wouldn't it be good if these two sisters, just like uh, Megan and Valerie, 40 years later, never got over the fact that the one sister embarrassed the other? And I, I, I'm, I'm going to say, well, what if they are at uh, a hospital visiting their drug-addicted brother? And they did have a drug-addicted brother in real life. So that's going to... That one uh, I'm going to be calling Maybe After He's Gone, which will have multiple meanings. Then I mentioned how I was going to reuse that Mitch Steuben character from The Big Al's Gina. And so I'm going to do a play that's going to basically be six very short plays that form the basis of a play around this area. And so one of, one of them is going to be about this dumbass kid, this, this tough guy who, who threatened a guy, jumped on, up and down on his car, and then was shot dead. And then the second little play is going to be on this girl that uh, I, I tutored uh, summer school once, and she traded sex for, for studying. And then the third one is going to be on this guy who was uh, uh, the cousin of one of my friends as a kid and who uh, led a, a racist attack against some kids at the school where I went to. Uh, then there's going to be another incident where uh, some kids I went to school with and I find uh, this black guy who'd been beaten then there's and, and anyway so that the, it's going to be a, a series of playlets then the then the, the sixth one is actually going to involve Don Moss and about 20 some years ago Don had had a fundraiser for this uh, this uh, cabaret in Minnesota this uh, this cabaret uh, where this guy uh, who's a real I won't use the real name but uh, who's a real son of a bitch. Uh, 
And so he, he had this he had this a fundraiser for it. And since then, Don probably has to, would totally disavow uh, this thing. Uh, but I'm going to call it Friends of Mine. So those are six plays that are going to be based upon the titles of these pop songs from the zombies. So that's that's a sextet that I'm working on.